by Per Capodanno is probably one of the most annoying sentences in the Italian language, right next to Ma quando ti lauri. Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the various motivi for why I hate Capodanno. Hate is a really strong word, but Capodanno is definitely my least favorite holiday in Italy. For my foreign friends, Capodanno, the beginning of the year, is New Year's. And here in Italy, it's celebrated in a certain way that's different from the way that I am used to. I don't really like it. Since we're talking about New Year's and the hands of time ticking and finishing on 2018 and starting on 2019, I thought that it was perfect that this video could be done in collaboration with Clues, the Netherlands-based online watch company. Clues is currently running a special Christmas campaign and at the link in my description box, you can find these two beautiful gift boxes, one for her and one for him, both limited edition. They're the Garcon model and you can see that I'm currently wearing mine. Mine is in rose gold and that of Enrico's is in black. You guys can head on over to Clues and check out their amazing models. They not only have have beautiful watches and I remind you guys that these gift boxes and models are limited edition but they also have gorgeous accessories and rings and bracelets everything so be sure to check out clues with no further ado let's jump right into the video and why I hate Capodanno Cosa fai per Capodanno is probably one of the most annoying sentences in the Italian language, right next to Ma quando ti lauri. Maybe I dislike it because of my punta di partenza, where I'm coming from. When I was back in the States, New Year's Eve wasn't this huge holiday. It was pretty boring. I don't know, maybe it was because I was young and so there wasn't really much of those private parties that you see in movies and films, but it was pretty much celebrated at home with the family, consisted of watching the ball drop in New York on the TV, and then after that maybe popping a champagne in the in the house but we weren't us kids weren't drinking and then a little toast to the new year and then everybody goes to bed. By 2 a.m. 1 a.m. even, everybody is warm in their bed, but that's completely the opposite idea of what there is here in Italy, because I swear here in Italy, it's like a mission. Capodanno this year has to be the biggest, best, baddest celebration, it has to put all the other Capodanni to shame, and it has to put everybody else's Capodanni to shame too. Like Italians are on a mission to end the year with a bang, and it's go hard or go home. I'm still not into the Italian way. So here are some more specific reasons as to why Capodanno is my least favorite Italian holiday. The first reason as to why I dislike Capodanno is the stress and anticipation of it. Like a good five, six, Six, even seven weeks before Capodanno, if your friend group is good at planning it, you start planning for Capodanno. But any time later than that, the tickets will all be expensive or sold out to go anywhere, and everything will just be too expensive to do anything. So people start planning way ahead of time their Capodanno plans, and Capodanno plans usually consist in going to a different city or sometimes even a different country to rain in the New Year's and then party with your friends in a huge group. As I told you guys, Italian friend groups tend to be larger than American friend groups, and so these plans include at least five or ten people. And it's already hard enough to organize a vacation as one person or two person people, so imagine having to organize it between five or ten people. So already, like mid-November, mid-October sometimes, you already have people like planning Capodanno, organizing Capodanno, you find yourself in these giant group chats with a hundred messages to get ready for Capodanno and I just I can't devote that much time to one event that that, that is Capodanno. Maybe it's just me. You literally have to get stressed out to find a place that you've never been before that doesn't cost a lot but always will cost a lot because it's Capodanno and make sure that everything is coordinated between 10 people. It's just stressful and it's so it's so much in advance that you end up having a stressful last two to three months of the year. 
like where is the fun in that another thing that i don't like about capodanno is the cost like i already said in my last point capodanno is expensive people know that italians like to celebrate the year the way they celebrate it and so the prices of everything get jacked up if you want to even go out in your own city that night everything is going to be the cost at least triple like a normal night out at the club would be like i don't know 20 euros maximum and now on capodanno it's a hundred euros maximum maybe they do this in america too i don't know but my idea of the american capodanno american new year's is usually in a house or a private party that doesn't cost any money so that me having to spend a lot of money to celebrate new year's and i just spend a lot of money buying people christmas gifts it's just why no no i don't want to spend anything else another reason why i hate capodanno it's kind of obvious but it's cold now the cold doesn't usually bother me i'm from connecticut connecticut is a pretty cold place in the winter it's a brutally cold place colder than any place that i've seen in italy aside from maybe the mountains Connecticut gets way colder than Milan or Lombardy, but for some reason, you guys, on Capodanno, all of Italy is the coldest that it, 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 it ever has been or it ever will be. Forget the winter solstice, the coldest day of the year in Italy is Capodanno because it's only that day when I'm outside for Capodanno that I feel like dying from the amount of how cold it is. There's literally no wind in Milan, but somehow it's freezing. There's no wind chill, but it's still freezing. Capodanno is the coldest year of the year for me, and that's one thing that I don't like about it because it's too cold to be standing outside and doing things outside and being awake past a certain hour. Which brings me to my next point about Capodanno that I don't like, is the fact that you have to stay up late. Like, Italians party a lot, and Capodanno is one of those holidays where everything's a big party, and so it's like a requirement to be able to last through the whole night, last until the sun comes out. You have to ring out the New Year's, not only make it to midnight, but you have to make it to like 8 a.m. the next day as well. And I'm just like, mind blown, I can't do it. I wanna go to sleep. I, I would honestly prefer to be warm in my bed by that time. Even when it comes to like clubbing normally on a normal night, some people are able to make it to like five, six. I'm, I'm home by by, by four i have to start heading home by three because by two i'm already yawning in the club ready to go to sleep i'm not at this huge party girl and since capodanno here is a really party intensive holiday i guess that's just an obvious reason as to why it wouldn't it wouldn't be liked by a person like me i just want to go home and this is a big difference from america because in america a lot of places most clubs and locales close by 2 p 2 a.m i'm pr I, I i don't know for sure because I never celebrated New Year's in America as a 21 year old to know what people do for their nightlife or to go out to clubs but I'm pretty sure it doesn't consist in staying up until five six or seven all of these things wrapped up together consists in my capodanni the last few years which included organization with huge groups of people being outside in the cold for way longer, way past my bedtime. And these are the main reasons as to why Capodanno is one of my least favorite holidays in Italy. Actually, it's my only, it's my only disliked holiday. I don't, all the other holidays are great because at least you have a day off from work and you can just do something else. But Capodanno, it just takes, it, t it just sucks the life out of me. I don't know you guys, maybe I'm the only one that dislikes Capodanno. Maybe Capodanno is actually Italian people's favorite holiday. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you love Capodanno or do you hate Capodanno? How do you prefer to spend Capodanno? This year, me and Enrico are shaking it up. We're doing something different. It's the first year that we're actually staying in Milan for Capodanno and we have no plans. We, we don't know what will happen. We don't know what we're doing. Whatever happens on Capodanno will happen on Capodanno, but we're not planning anything because he, he gave me he gave me the choice to stay in Milan this year and do things my way and so for right now I am chill I am calm I'm just listening to the other people stress out about their capodanno plans so we'll see how it goes but I'm excited to be in my bed by 3 a.m. <laughs> even because I have to go back to work on the second so like I said, you guys, I really want to know what you think about Capodanno. Let me know in the comments down below. I hope that you guys found this video interesting, maybe even entertaining. And remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, you guys, I'm going to see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.